Welcome to the show, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, Thanksgiving. I'm in Detroit. You can see I'm not in the normal studio. I am at the old Pontiac Silverdome where the Detroit Lions used to play football, you guys. Over here is their old practice field. That's the old Silverdome. It doesn't have a dome on it anymore. It's just the, the silver. I don't know. Anyway, I would have loved to have filmed this episode down at Ford Field in downtown Detroit. But as I said, it's Thanksgiving Day, so there's parades and all kinds of stuff. Next week's show will be hopefully downtown at Ford Field. Maybe we can even get inside. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's crack on because I'm on location. I don't have the studio equipment. I don't even have my laptop anymore. It's off in Apple land somewhere. So we're going to get this done and just get it over with and just get cracking so you can get back to eating your turkey. So week 12, what's happening? Last week, you check out my wins and losses. We did all right last week. We didn't do 13 or 12 like we had hoped to, but we did all right. So uh, division leaders going into uh, the final stretch, really, in my opinion, of the season. Um, because we're going, you know, week 12. You only got a couple games left to really hope to make and clinch that playoff. There's a lot of teams that are right there on the cusp of almost making it and almost just sucking and being upset and seeing you next season. Anyway, um, AFC East, we got New England at 8-2. and two. Um, In the north, you've got the Ravens at 5-5, five and five, and you got Pittsburgh at 5-5. Five and five. How is 5-5 five and five in his first place? That is pathetic. That is unbelievable. So they're in the hunt over there. And, and Cleveland is still winless at 0-11. But guess what's going to happen this week? I pick Cleveland. That's right, bitches. Anyway, cracking on. Um, so in the south, Houston 6-4. and four. Houston, they're playing miserably, and they're leading their division. In the west, 8-2 and two Raiders. But you have the Kansas City Chiefs and the Denver Broncos right on their heels at 7-3. and three. So NFC East, Dallas firmly in first place with 9-1. and one. Dak Prescott, Ezekiel. Oh, man, I don't got to talk about those guys anymore. Just watch it on TV. In the north, the Detroit Lions. Tied for first place with the Minnesota Vikings, you guys. Oh, man, the Vikings won 6-4 and four. anyway. The NFC South, Atlanta is six and four, and uh, Tampa Bay is five and five. So you know, one game, and it's it's, it's a different different situation in the NFC South. Um, NFC West, Seattle, firm first place at seven and two. So as I said, it's Thanksgiving in the United States of America. Here are today's games. I'm sorry this show is getting to you late. Like I said, I had some problems with my laptop. Uh, it's uh, no excuses. Whatever. Thanksgiving Day games. NFC North battle for first. As I said, Detroit Lions. Hosting Minnesota Vikings, Detroit, downtown Ford Field. Go Detroit, pick in Detroit, disregard my hat. I'm going to get a new Lions hat as I'm in the D. So anyway, Washington at Dallas. Give me Dallas. I'm not even going to have to talk about that at all. Pittsburgh Steelers, man. Pittsburgh, man, versus the Colts. Give me the Colts. Pittsburgh have not been impressing me at all. So that's what's up with that. Uh, those are your Thanksgiving Day games. That's today. So hopefully we get this out before any of this madness starts. So I'm going to try and get home and put this up immediately. Sunday games. Atlanta and Arizona. Arizona goes to the Atlanta Falcons. Um, they're one win ahead. Atlanta's one win ahead of Tampa Bay. Like I said, you never know. But give me Arizona. So I'm hoping that Atlanta loses. Cincinnati, Baltimore. Joe Flacco and Baltimore. All day on that one. Um, Jacksonville, Jaguars and Buffalo. Buffalo! What's going on with that? What do you know about that? Buffalo, watch. Tennessee versus Chicago. I got burned last week with that Chicago crap. Jonas, I'm not picking your team anymore. They let me down. I should have had a win last week in the column with Chicago. I didn't have it. So I'm picking the opposition. Give me Tennessee because Tennessee has been kicking ass all season when you're not expecting it. Anyway, moving on. New York football giants versus the cleveland cleveland come on cleveland browns ain't one shit all season give me cleveland taking cleveland eli manning going down bro going down chargers versus houston give me houston um san francisco versus miami give me miami and then we take an la rams we get the new orleans saints that's still a tough one, but I'm still going with the Rams, you big dummy. Watch this. Saints are going to go in there. Drew Brees is going to welcome them into their stadium and smash them, but it doesn't matter. I'm sticking with my pick. Go Rams. Seattle uh, versus Tampa Bay. Give me Seattle. Seattle's just rolling along. Carolina at Oakland. Give me Oakland. What the hell? Got the Oakland hat on in Detroit. Hopefully I ain't going to get beat up for that shit. 
Give me Oakland. Um, New England Jets, New England, come on. Kansas City at Denver. This is that game. This is a big game, you guys. Both teams are 73, and if Oakland doesn't win, it's all hell breaks loose. Ties for first place. Doesn't matter. Hopefully Oakland wins, as I said. And I don't even have a winner pick for this game. Hmm. Kansas City Chiefs. Give me KC. But I don't want KFC. Just the KC. I'm shutting up. I'm over five minutes. I'm talking too much. Green Bay at Philly. Give me Green Bay. Philly can kiss my ass. I love Philly. Um, they're doing good things. They got that rookie down there. But I'm still going to have to say, give me uh, the, the uh, Green Bay. Uh, I don't want them to win They're in our division. But they don't have a chance this season for doing anything. But I still don't want them. I don't think they'll beat them. Anyway, I'm walk talking too much. We're getting out of here. We're leaving the Pontiac X Silverdome where nothing goes on anymore. There's the old practice field. There's the old stadium. Peace, and I hope I picked some winners for you guys this week, and we'll try and get to 12. We'll see you next week.